Soundcast is a company focused on just one thing, bringing music to people who love being outside. Their portable Bluetooth speakers deliver the type of sound quality you would expect from high performance stereo speakers, and yet they're rechargeable, they connect wirelessly, and they're highly resistant to weather. These are not just background music speakers. They're designed to rock out and to play loud and clear. And even better, they don't care if they're sitting in the sand or in the snow. In this video, we're gonna cover some of the cool technology you'll get with every Soundcast, and then we'll get into each model and discuss the benefits. Hopefully, this will help you decide which Soundcast fits best with your style in the great outdoors. And if you wanna read the full review on the Soundcast lineup, be sure to click the link in the description that will take you directly to the written review on audioadvice.com. Now, let's get started. All the Soundcast products are weather resistant to varying degrees. So here's a quick rundown on what the different letters and numbers mean. IP is short for International Protection Rating, also known as Ingress Protection. The first digit, which will be a value from zero to six, is how well protected the unit is against solids, including very fine dust. The second digit goes from zero to eight, and it tells you how well protected the unit is from liquids, with zero meaning no protection at all, and eight meaning it can operate under deep water for long periods of time without damaging the unit. All of the Soundcast products are rated at six for solids, which means you'll never have to worry about dust, sand, or pollen doing any damage to your Soundcast speaker. They vary a bit on the rating for liquids, but they're all fairly high. I'll go over their resistance to liquids when we go through each product. Soundcast went to great lengths to design an outdoor speaker that lets you not have to worry about your music dying when you're out and about. As a matter of fact, some models can play for up to 40 hours. The first two models are just shy of three and a half pounds and they are quite easy to carry around. As you get into the bigger and more powerful models, they do get a bit more stout. So Soundcast ergonomically designed a great carrying handle for the top three largest models. So they're all well balanced when you pick them up and walk around. Bluetooth pairing works really well on every single one we tested. And I noticed that my phone could communicate with them even up to about 100 feet away. They all deploy high def AAC and Aptex Bluetooth codecs for great sound. Every model except the entry level one also offers the ease of pairing with Bluetooth NFC. So you can just hold your phone up to it for pairing. The basic model can remember five phones while all of the others will remember up to eight devices. With any of the Soundcast models, you can pair two of them together to cover a much larger area. And when you do this, they will transform into true stereo units. That's a really cool feature because it lets you spread out your music over a wider area without having to crank one speaker up louder. In every model, including the smallest one, the speakers are actively amped with separate amplifiers for the different types of drivers. This allows them to fine tune the audio to each speaker driver's characteristics. They are all designed to throw out a very large and wide sound field and to my ears, it sounded very clear and rich from all directions on all of them except for the entry level, which basically just fires the sound to the front. The sound and the durability is ultimately what convinced the AudioVice team to offer Soundcast as a portable speaker option. They sound fantastic for an outdoor speaker and their portability makes them even cooler. Even our audiophile clients who have tried them have been super impressed with their big full sound. Each and every single model gives you the option to connect an audio source with an auxiliary input on the unit. Not only can you control them from your smartphone with Bluetooth, every Soundcast model has some tactile, pushable or touchable button controls on the units for several functions. Now, let's go through and look at each model in the Soundcast lineup. First up is the VG-1. The entry-level Soundcast is designed to easily fit into a backpack. It's the most weather resistant of all the models with an IP67 rating, which means it can be submerged for up to 30 minutes under one meter of water and continue working. If you drop the VG-1 in the pool or if it gets submerged in water when the tide comes in, you don't have to worry. The VG-1 uses a one and a half inch aluminum driver with a rear passive radiator. While it can fit in the palm of your hand, it actually goes down to about 90 hertz in low frequency range, which is deeper than other portable speakers of this size. 
If you connect this with Bluetooth, the VG1 will turn into a speakerphone for incoming calls. Playtime on the VG1 is up to 15 hours depending on how loud you have it playing and it can recharge in about three and a half hours. I see the VG1 appealing to the person who wants music for their outdoor fun but who also cares about portability and the price over the ultimate in sound. Next up is the VG3. When you step up to the VG3, you'll get a much bigger sound field than the VG1 provides. It is still small and light enough to fit inside a backpack, but its mini tower format helps it perform more like a home audio speaker. Soundcast uses the same two drivers as the ones found in the VG1, but they're positioned on each side of the cabinet for more room filling sound and they're augmented with a downward firing active subwoofer. Bass goes deeper and it's much more punchy on the VG3 compared to the VG1. The VG3 can also become a speakerphone and it gives you more battery life with a maximum playtime of 21 hours. This longer battery life comes with slightly more time on the charger with five hours being needed to fully charge it. But if you want something very portable and yet could last for a three day weekend of listening around a campfire with full rich sound, the VG3 is probably the perfect choice for you. The VG5 has the same form factor as the VG3, but you'll need a duffel bag instead of a backpack to tote this around. At a little over 17 inches tall and eight inches wide and deep, the VG5 is moving into the serious speaker category of the Soundcast lineup. We do really like the rear carrying handle, which bounces it out, but you'll probably want to find a better way to tote this 12 and a half pound speaker if you're planning to carry it for more than a couple hundred yards. The VG5 gets its IP rating of IP64, so like the VG3, it basically is immune to everything except for a long dip in the pool. You do get quite a big jump in the quality of speaker components with the VG5 as you move up to the 3 inch aluminum cone drivers and the separate 6 inch powered subwoofer. The configuration is the same as the VG3 with the drivers firing out to the sides for big sound. You'll be able to feel the bass with the VG5 and fill up a much bigger area than with the VG3. Playtime on the VG5 is the shortest of any model at a maximum of 10 hours, which will take about four to five hours to fully recharge. Some people may decide to make this a flexible speaker and use it for both indoor and out, which Soundcast also realized and added an EQ section that changes the tonal quality with an indoor and outdoor setting. We see the VG5 as more of an outdoor speaker and you can take it to a boat dock, a tailgate event, or out by the pool. It's pretty heavy, so you won't want to carry it too far and it doesn't have the long weekend battery life of the VG3, but obviously it sounds much, much bigger. Now we'll move on to the VG7. The VG7 is a 21 pound speaker that's 19 inches tall and 11 inches wide and deep. While the speaker is large, it does balance surprisingly well when you pick it up for its size. Soundcast took the three inch aluminum drivers of the VG5 and uses four of them on all sides of the VG7 for huge sound and they are complemented by a powered seven inch downward firing subwoofer. They had the same great IP rating of IP64. You get a great play time of up to 21 hours and it can fully charge in just three hours. The VG7 also has a different battery pack that can hold a charge for up to one year. This is the speaker that is impressing a lot of our audiophile customers with a great sound outdoors that reminds them of a nice pair of speakers. Bass is only 3 dB down at 55 Hz, which outdoors sounds quite full and rich. Like the VG5, it also has the indoor and outdoor EQ setting with double the battery life of the VG5 and the ability to play with an optional 12 volt adapter. This is a model you could take on a long camping trip, put it by the pool or the dock, or be the envy of all your friends at a tailgate party. Finally, we have the VG7 SE. Take the VG7, stretch it out, add more power and a much bigger battery and you have its special edition version, the VG7 SE. Standing at over two feet tall and 11 inches by 11 inches and 24 pounds, you will definitely need its solid handle to move this one around. While the VG7 SE has the same speaker components and configuration as the VG7, Soundcast doubled the power inside for every driver and increased the base driver cabinet size to provide far more output. They also doubled the battery capacity to an amazing maximum of 40 hours of playtime. 
It will take about six hours to fully charge, or you can get 20 hours with about three to four hours of charging. Base reaches down to an incredible 3 dB down of 40 Hertz on the VG7 SE, which outperforms a lot of big floor standing indoor speakers. If you want some ambient light, the VG7 SE has downward firing lights that you can adjust to suit the mood. I could see this feature coming in handy for camping trips or for keeping you from stumping your toe on this beast in the dark. The VG7 SE is for someone who wants the ultimate in outdoor sound and be able to rock out for hours. I can see it being used mostly for the pool or dock parties and for tailgating. We hope this overview has given you a good idea of which Soundcast model might fit your outdoor entertainment or adventure needs. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to visit us at audiovice.com, chat with one of our experts, give us a call or stop into one of our Raleigh or Charlotte, North Carolina showrooms, and we'll be happy to help you add some great music to your outdoor fun. Thanks for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on the latest home audio and home theater content. We'll see you next time.